Welcome to Beauty in 5 Minutes. I'm Jazz, beauty editor here at Adore Beauty. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about three ways to style your bob if you've recently done a big chop um, that aren't sleek or straight. So before we dive into our three new hairstyles, today I'm just going to quickly talk about what I've done with my hair just for like an everyday look. So this is my go-to classic, just sleek, straight. I've literally just straightened my hair um, and washed it and put a little bit of hair oil in it so it hopefully should have a little bit of shine. I'm fortunate that I have fine hair so it really doesn't take that long to do in the morning, which is great. So the first style we're going to be looking at is textured waves, but it's just a good way to kind of give your hair a little bit more of a beachy, relaxed vibe. It's really easy. You, it's a good also in-between wash style, so you can start with greasy hair. It'll give it a little bit more grit to work with as well. So for my look, or for all of these looks actually, I started with the Mr. Smith Primer, um, which is just great to kind of add a little bit of texture to your hair and help, help it hold shape a little bit as you style it. All you are going to need is a rounded barrel hair straightener. Um, Any one will do as long as the plates here are rounded, as you can see, because it just makes it a little bit easier when you're doing your curling motion. Working in section by section so you can separate the top to the bottom. And you're just going to start just from maybe like a little bit down off the root, maybe like, I don't know, what's that, like three centimeters or something. Clamp down and you're going to twist. And the whole thing is really about doing this S motion. So you're going to twist one way, hold for a second. Then as you're untwisting, you're going to move the hair straightener down and twist in the opposite direction. Hold for a second and then keep repeating that until you get all the way down your hair and to the bottom. You can continue to go over each section until you get the desired look that you're after. And then for this look, I finished with a texture spray, but you can also use a hairspray as well for a little bit more hold um, or a sea salt spray just to give a little bit more of like a natural beachy vibe. If you are after more of like a polished look, we also have like hair crimpers. There's one by Mermaid Hair and that will give you that really like polished sort of crimp look rather than I guess that relaxed look. It's completely up to you with what style you're going for. But for me personally, I like that kind of lived in hair look. Number two, I've called it the 60s flick. Have your hair straight until about say here and then you're gonna flick your ends. So I'll demonstrate again with a hair straightener for this one. As you get toward the ends of your hair, you're just going to rotate completely outward and hold in that really nice J shape. And then as you let go, it's really important to kind of just gently let go so you can let the curl kind of fall out rather than like pulling it out and you might lose a little bit of that shape. For this style, again, you can work with greasy hair in between washes just to give it a little bit of life and something fresh or you can wash your hair you just will need a hairspray to finish it to hold that style i add in a hair serum as well especially for the ends for this style i use the revlon anti-split and sealing drops that's a mouthful just to make sure those ends don't look too dry and they, they contain a little bit more nourishment especially because you're going to be using heat on it as well so it's just going to make them look a little bit nicer so our last hairstyle, this is my holy grail, I can't be bothered doing my hair look or when it's super greasy because you can really use that oil to your advantage and that is the snatched bun. So a snatched bun is essentially like a slicked bun but I like to call it a snatched bun because it does give your face like that nice little like natural lift and snatch if you want to create it with clean hair just make sure you add a little bit of pre-styling spray just to give it, again, give it a little bit of grit. You can also add in a hair mask as well. So depending on your hair type, for me, I have dry hair. So I like using a really hydrating mask, especially because you are gonna be pulling your hair quite tight off your face. Kind of prevents any breakage as well that might come with that and maintains that nourishment. All you need to do is separate two bits of your hair at the front, section these off, to come back to using a ball bristle brush because that's just the easiest way to kind of get all those flyaways but you're going to brush your hair back into a ponytail tie it off then working with these sections that you've got at the front you're going to add them into the ponytail you're going to use your sea salt spray or if you prefer a, a heavier i guess more firm hold you can use like a paste or like a gel if you like that wet look and you can just put that in your hair and then really brush all those flyaways down just to make sure it's looking super neat and nice. And then once your hair is all ready, you're just gonna wrap your ponytail around and then pin it in. And that's literally it. And you can tidy up anything that may have fallen out. Um, 
depending on your hair length, I like to leave a little bit of like a flick. It's kind of hard to explain, but like a little bit of a flick just to, I don't know, just spice it up and keep things a little bit fun <laughs> because I don't like anything that's like incredibly polished because that's also not me. Um, so yeah, it's up to you how you like to style it. So that is all for today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you would like more hair videos, click here.